Welcome back to the Packet Lab. Today we're going to take a look at Cisco IOS MD5 file validation. So what MD5 file validation allows you to do is it allows you to run a checksum against an iOS image stored on your Cisco device. So it's going to run the uh, MD5 or Message Digest 5 algorithm on that file and it's going to come up with a checksum value. And then you can use that checksum value to compare it against a known good MD5 checksum value for that iOS image and where you would get that from is when you're downloading the iOS image from cisco.com you'll have a page that shows a bunch of different information on there. One of those pieces of information is the MD5 checksum so you compare it against that. If it matches then you're reasonably assured that your iOS image is not corrupt and you can continue with your iOS upgrade. If it doesn't match then you're probably going to want to delete that image and reload it because something may have happened when it was being transferred to your device. It's not passing that checksum. One note from the real world I've noticed that some of the older images, uh, I'm talking like 12.3 code, the checksum doesn't always match. I don't know why that is, but I've just run across that where the image is not corrupt, but it just doesn't match for whatever reason. So keep that in mind if you're loading really old code. Generally, these should match. If they don't, then it's more likely that you have a corrupt image than it is a mistake on Cisco's part. And the way that you invoke this validation is that you use the verify command. So you're going to be on your router and you're going to issue the verify command. There's some options with that. The important one here is going to be the forward slash md5 so you're going to type verify space forward slash md5 space and then you're going to specify the file system it's generally going to be flash wherever your ios image is stored and then the name of the ios image and if you hit enter there it's going to go ahead and it's going to run the md5 algorithm and it's going to come up with the checksum so you can manually verify that checksum versus the known good checksum you also have the option of at the end of this putting the known good checksum hit enter and it'll run through and it will tell you if it matches that it doesn't give you a lot of fireworks as we'll see uh, when it does match if it doesn't match though it will tell you this does not match so it's really nice to use that feature one slight caveat and let me bring up DLI here is that you have the option to put these you have the option put these options in any order so I can type verify and then I can specify MD5 or I can go ahead and put the location of the image in right away if I do that and then I hit question to invoke my iOS help you'll see that I don't have any further options so I don't have the option to specify MD5 here so you're gonna want to type in MD5 and then put in the option. It'll give you a lot more locations that you can use for your image. You can actually go out and check it on a TFTP server, which is kind of interesting. So this way you're using the MD5 validation on this file. And you can see here at the very end, we can put in the expected MD5 signature, which is your known good. And the next slide will show you where to get that from. And here's where you get your known good MD5 hash. So this is what you're going to see when you're out on Cisco.com and you're downloading an image. It'll give you the image name and it'll give you some details, you know, the release, file name, blah, blah, blah. What you're looking for here is MD5, which is the MD5 checksum. So what I do is I cut and paste this. So I'll copy this and then I will run the verify command on the router and specify the known good and that way it'll compare that and we'll see that process in the next slide. So here's the two different methods you can use. You can just go ahead and say verify this image and hit enter and it will think it'll give you a series of periods depending on the image size and the uh, I suppose the CPU in your box it may take a while for it to come up with this but anyways when it's done it will come up and it'll say here is the checksum that I came up with and you can go ahead and compare that with your known good. The option I like is to do the same command but at the end you just put in your known good option. So in this case we would take that value that we got from cisco.com and pop it in at the end here and hit enter. When it completes running the MD5 algorithm it will come up with the same thing. It'll just say verify equals blah 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 but you'll know that it's good. It's compared those because if it runs the MD5 algorithm and it's comparing against a value that you input and it's not good, then you get your little bit of fireworks. You get an error and it'll tell you, hey, here's what I came up with. I came up with this value that ends with 63, but here's what you gave me, the same value, but it ends with 99. These are not compatible. In this case, I just fake the funk on the known good. I gave it a bad checksum. If this was the checksum that from Cisco.com and it came up with a different value, then there's a good chance that your image is corrupted and it's probably best to just go ahead and delete it and reload it and rerun this process. And the reason you want to run this is that you want to catch any possibly corrupted images early in the process of upgrading your iOS. It's a whole lot easier to delete the iOS image and then reload it from your FTP or TFTP server or whatever, wherever you're getting it from, than it is to go through the iOS upgrade, such a boot image to 
the corrupted image and then you reload and you're in Rammon and your production router is down and you got a bunch of monkeys on your back saying why did you melt the router it's a lot better to do this simple check early in the process to catch any potential corrupted images I'm not gonna have a separate uh, lab portion for this because this is fairly easy it's one command I'll go ahead and show this on the CLI next so what I've done here is I've gone and I've downloaded an iOS image from a TFTP server the TFTP server is my PC in this case and I put it on R6 which is an 1841 router so currently the iOS image is in my flash but I'm not using it yet so I'm gonna upgrade the iOS I'm gonna use this new image but prior to doing that I want to run an MD5 check just to make sure that nothing's been corrupted in the transfer from my PC to this router Prior to verifying the MD5, we have to know what we're verifying. In this case, we want this value here. So I'm out on Cisco.com, and this is where I downloaded the iOS image from, and it'll give you this page full of information prior to downloading it. And you can see here, it's got the release, the file name, blah, blah, blah. What we're looking for specifically is this MD5 hash, I guess, for lack of a better word. So when we run this command, we want to have the output of our command match the MD5 value here. Okay, so let's get to it. There isn't much to this command, verify, and the question mark, um, we're going to obviously look at slash MD5. And then you specify where you want to get your image from. In this case, we're going to get it from Flash. And you could hit enter here, and it's still going to ask you for the file name. So we're going to break out of this and do a show flash so that we know what the file name is and let me see it's this 12.4 code right here I'm going to grab this and then go ahead and up arrow and so I'm going to verify the MD5 hash for this iOS image hit enter you're going to get lines of periods as it thinks about what it's doing as it comes up with that value so now here we go we're at the end here and we do have the verification and there's the value that's coming up with if I pop back over to the web page I can grab this copy it and then pull up I'll just paste it here and just eyeing this up it looks good but we can go one better than that so if we get back to our command and we can see we have verify we specify empty five and then we specify the iOS version in Flash. And what we could do here is we can actually put in the expected MD5 signature. So I've cut and pasted this from the website. So this is what we're expecting it to come out to if it's good. So if I hit enter, it'll go to, through and recalculate that MD5 hash. And it takes just a bit. I'm going to pause actually. Okay, and we're done. And we have verified that that is the correct MD5 hash. It doesn't give you a lot of fireworks and say, yes, that's the correct hash. We can redo this and we can change the hash. We'll put the last two numbers to be 99. Hit enter and do it again. I will pause. And here we go. And you can see that when you have an incorrect signature, it gives you a little bit more output here. So it says I, I had an error. Here's what was computed and here what was well, here's what was submitted so you can see I changed the last two digits here from 63 to 99 so it'll tell you hey yeah this isn't any good or this is what I came up with this and this is what you wanted me to check against okay so that's MD5 file validation in a nutshell pretty simple to do it's something that I like to do whenever I'm throwing on an image just to make sure that something didn't get corrupted because it's a whole lot better to catch it at this point than to have it come back and bite you in the ass later in the iOS upgrade process so thanks once again for joining me in the packet lab today and as always I hope this helps you on your route to become coming in network guy.